But you know what's interesting? As you get older and more mature, those nurturing aspects and maternal aspects start kicking in. And it doesn't seem like Reggie's a project. He just needs someone to show him a little love, a little support. He just needs someone to bring out the best in him. But you, listen carefully, you don't want to spend your whole marriage trying to save the marriage. You don't want to spend the whole marriage trying to save the marriage. You don't want to spend your entire time trying to prove yourself or prove your worth to a man who hasn't discerned it. Listen carefully, your worth, ladies, is discerned, it's not debated. You don't cajole and convince him. Either he discerns it or you move on to the next. It's not to be debated. You, you should not be in a position where you're trying to prove yourself. Quite frankly, the, the merits of our ministry, I never have the attitude that I have to convince someone or debate with someone. or Either it's discerned or it's not. You don't want to spend your lifetime plastering a phony smile on your face and making excuses and, and hiding things and wishing in secret that you were single and feeling, <laughs> and feeling lonely and isolated in your own home. But in order to not join the list of women who fall into that category, you gotta show courage on this end. You gotta say, I love myself too much to compromise. I love myself too much to settle. I respect myself. I, I, I know this is not God's best for me. That's the question. When, you, when you're tempted to settle, when you're tempted to compromise, when you're tempted to throw in the towel because of perhaps age, because perhaps they're not, uh, you don't see any better prospects on the horizon, here's the, here's the question you have to ask yourself. And it takes courage you have to ask yourself, is this God's best for my life? Honestly. I mean, trying to convince a man of my worth, is this, is this God's best? I mean, waiting for him to divorce his wife, is this God's best? I mean, being part of the rotation in his Blackberry, is this God's best? I mean, someone who won't be honest with me, did Jesus die on the cross so that I could marry someone who's dishonest? That's the question you have to ask. Is this God's best? Remember, patience reveals deception. Patience does. You don't want to rush into things. Allow enough time to pass by so that you can do your due diligence. I mean, if you invest in a stock, hopefully you do, you do your due diligence. I know if you buy an automobile, oh, you like, it's got a DVD player, it's got leather seats, AC, it's got AC in the, in the, in the floor. My toes are gonna be cool. It's got AC everywhere. I researched it. You do all the research for that. Back in the day, you used to research what you were gonna wear to the party. You knew what was in and what was out. You knew what other women were wearing. You didn't want to wear anything that was whack. But why aren't we not willing to do the same due diligence with someone that we're going to call our spouse one day? 